Here is an interesting question. An aluminum scale is calibrated to measure length correctly at 80 degrees Celsius. What does that mean? When the aluminum rod was at 80 degrees Celsius, we put all those markings which says 1 cm, 2 cm and so on. So that was correct at 80 degrees Celsius. But suppose the temperature reduces, the aluminum scale will shrink. But when it shrinks, all the markings will get closer, which means it will no longer measure the length correctly at other temperatures. Keep that in mind. So the scale only measures it correctly, measures length correctly at 80 degrees Celsius. Now the scale is used to measure the length of a steel rod and it shows it as 50 centimeters when both are at 0 degree Celsius. Ah, does it mean that the length of the steel rod is actually 50 centimeters? No, because the aluminum scale would have shrunk. So it's not measuring it correctly at 0 degree Celsius. It is only going to measure length correctly at 80 degree Celsius. But what we have been told is when both are at 0 degree Celsius, the steel rod's length is shown as 50 centimeters by the aluminum scale. Using this information, we want to find the correct length of the steel rod at 80 degrees Celsius. We have been given the coefficient of linear expansion for steel and also for aluminium. They are not the same, right? For steel, it is 11 into 10 power minus 6 per degree Celsius, whereas for aluminium, it is 25 into 10 power minus 6 per degree Celsius. Now, I always keep emphasizing, right, that you must draw diagrams and visualize physics questions. Like you look at this question, you must draw a diagram and you must visualize. Why do I insist on drawing diagrams? What will happen if you don't draw? So I'm going to try and solve this question first without using a diagram. I'll explain the whole thing without using a diagram. It will be difficult to understand. And then I will show you how you can visualize the whole thing and it will be super easy. Okay. So first, the hard part, trying to solve this without visualizing without drawing a diagram. Okay, So first, we know the formula length final is L0, the original length into 1 plus alpha times delta t. That is the formula. Let us say that the length of the steel rod at 80 degrees Celsius is L, L centimeters. Now, is that 50 centimeters? No. The aluminium rod scale says that the steel rod's length is 50 centimeters when both are at 0 degrees Celsius. But at 80 degrees Celsius, the steel rod will have some length. I don't know what it is. That's what we want to find out. Let us call that L centimeters. But now, when you bring the steel rod to 0 degrees Celsius, its length will reduce. How much? Using this formula, we can say L times 1 minus. Why 1 minus? Because delta T is negative, right? It was 80 degrees L. Right? L was at 80 degrees, whereas it has now come down to 0. So you must use minus 80 here or I can put a minus here. So L into 1 minus alpha, alpha for steel is 11 into 10 power minus 6 into delta T is minus 80. That's why I put a minus here and I put the 80 there. So when I multiply this, I'm going to get that L into 1 minus 0.88 into 10 to the power of minus 3 centimeters. I don't want to do the calculation. I'll just leave it like this for now. Okay. Okay, so this is the length of the steel rod at 0 degrees Celsius. Ha, huh, but isn't that 50 centimeters? No, it is not given that this is 50 centimeters. It is given that the aluminium scale measures it as 50 centimeters. Okay, this is not 50 centimeters. It is measured wrongly by the aluminium scale. What do I mean by that? The aluminium scale shows it as 50 centimeters, but the aluminium scale measures things correctly only at 80 degrees Celsius. The aluminium scale has also shrunk, right? 50 centimeters of aluminium scale at 80 degrees Celsius, right? Whatever that was, that has shrunk and that is what is being shown to you as if it is 50 centimeters. The actual length is different. Actual length is different. So, at 0 degrees Celsius, 50 centimeter mark on aluminium scale, right? The 50 centimeter, original 50 centimeter, what was it when it was 0 degree Celsius? It would have been 50 times 1 minus alpha times delta t, right? 1 plus alpha times delta t. Delta t is negative, so I put a minus here. This is alpha for aluminium. Alpha for aluminium, right? What have I done here? What is this calculation? The 50 centimeter mark was correct 50 centimeters. 
at 80 degrees. The 50 centimeter mark was the correct 50 centimeter length when it was 80 degrees. You brought it to 0 degrees. So the 50 centimeter mark, whatever that was 50 centimeter, would have shrunk to this length. So if I calculate this, what do I get? 25 into 80, that's going to give me 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 because of the 10 power minus 6, you'll get that. So this is the length of the 50 centimeter of aluminium scale when you shrink it to 0 degree Celsius, at 0 degree Celsius. Now this is equal to that. Why? Why are these two equal? Because the steel rod has reduced to this length. The aluminium scale 50, whatever the 50 mark is, has reduced to this length. But actually we are saying that the steel rod's length is being measured by the aluminium scale as 50 centimeters. So that means this is the 50 centimeter mark will have come to this point, right? So this two will be equal. At 0 degree Celsius, the shrunken aluminium 50 centimeter scale length, think of the aluminium as being 50 centimeters. So that has shrunk and the steel rod length has also shrunk by different amounts, but these two are equal, equal at 0 degree Celsius, which is why the marking shows 50 centimeters. So I can take this and equate it to that. So if I equate the two, L into 1 minus 0 0.88 into 10 power minus 3, right? the shrunken length of the steel rod equal to the shrunken length of the 50 centimeter of the aluminium scale. These two are equal, which means L must be this divided by this. And we can do the calculation. Okay. So if you do the calculation, it turns out to be approximately 49.944 centimeters. 49.944 centimeters. Okay. So this is the answer that we get. Huh. Did you understand it? Not very clear, right? Because there was no visualization here. Let me show you the same solution, but with a visual picture. Then you will understand exactly what I am saying here. Let us now look at the visualization. I will now draw some diagrams and show you how to visualize this question. And you will realize that when you visualize a question in physics, it becomes extremely easy to solve. Okay, let's get started. So here we have this aluminium scale that is calibrated to measure the length correctly at 80 degrees Celsius. So this scale, aluminium scale, measures length correctly only at 80 degrees Celsius. At 0 degrees Celsius, it becomes shorter. It doesn't measure length correctly at 0 degrees Celsius. And it reads the length of the steel rod as 50 centimeters. But that happens when both are at 0 degree Celsius. But at 0 degree Celsius, you know that the aluminium scale does not measure length correctly. So at what temperature does it measure it correctly? Only at 80 degree Celsius. So let us first draw everything at 80 degree Celsius. So at 80 degree Celsius, this is the steel rod. Let us say its length was L. It is not 50 centimeters. It is some length L. And if you want to measure its length here using the aluminium scale, the 50 will not match with that L. The 50 will not match with the L, right? So this is the aluminium scale that you have. Okay, this is what happens at 80 degrees Celsius. But I want to know what happens at zero. So I'm going to make a copy of this and I'm going to look at what happens at zero degree Celsius. Okay, from 80, I'm going to reduce the temperature to zero degree Celsius. Now, when the temperature reduces, this aluminium scale will shrink and the steel rod will also shrink. And aluminium has a larger alpha compared to steel, right? That is 25 into 10 power minus 6. This is 11 into 10 power minus 6. So aluminium scale is going to shrink much more than the steel rod. But both will shrink, right? Both will shrink because the temperature is dropping. So let us reduce the temperature and let us see what happens when they shrink. When they shrink, the 50 mark, this is not 50 centimeters anymore. That is the 50 mark, but that is 50 centimeters because this is 80 degrees Celsius. At 80 degrees Celsius, 50 mark is equal to 50 centimeters. Whereas at 0 degrees, 50 mark is just 50 mark. It is not 50 centimeters. Why? Because it is shrunk. But we have been told that at 0 degrees Celsius, the steel rod's length matches the 50 centimeter mark. It's not 50 centimeters, it is the mark. 
Okay? So these two match. Ah. So I need to know what is the actual length there. Right? How will I find that out? The original length, correct length is 50 centimeters when, when it is 80 degrees Celsius and now it has shrunk. Do we have a formula for this? Exactly, we have this formula, right? Final length is original length into 1 plus alpha times delta t. Now, what is delta t? Delta t is minus 80. So, if I put minus 80 here, I know alpha. Alpha is 25 into 10 power minus 6. So, I can substitute. So, I can say 50 centimeters into 1 plus alpha, 25 into 10 power minus 6 into minus 80. I brought the minus here. So, I have written minus here and put the 80 there. So, you know this is directly coming out of that formula. So, this is the correct length of the 50 centimeter mark on the aluminium scale. Please remember this is not 50 centimeters, this is a 50 centimeter mark. That was the actual 50 centimeter. This is a shrunken version of that. Okay, what about this length of the steel rod? The correct length at 80 was L. And that is also shrunk, but I know it's alpha, so I can use the same formula. I can find out what is this length. This length will be original length L into 1 minus alpha 11 into 10 power minus 6 into 80. Actually, delta T is minus 80, so that's why I put the minus here and put the 80 there. But the question has told us that at 0 degree Celsius, when both are at 0, the scale is measuring the steel rod length as 50 centimeters. Wrongly, but it is measuring. That means these two are matching. What does that mean? That means this must match that, but this length must be equal to this length. That's all. Now, when you do this visually, it's very clear, right? That this, not 50, the 50 mark matches, but the actual length is this. This length must be equal to the actual length of the steel rod at 0 degree Celsius. We've come on both of these. So, this must be equal to this. That gives us the relationship. 50 into 1 minus, this product is 2 into 10 power minus 3. So, this must be equal to this product, which is 0.88 into 10 power minus 3, right? So, L into 1 minus 0.88 into 10 power minus 3. So, I've just equated this and this. That's all. And here you can see why this equation holds, right? Because this shrinks, this shrinks, and they match, they match, the marks match. This mark is matching with the steel rod's current length, which is at 0 degrees. So, it matches. So, which means this length must be equal to this length. So, from this we can write L must be this quantity divided by that 50 into 1 minus 2 into 10 power minus 3 by 1 minus 0 0.88 into 10 power minus 3. Now, of course, you can use a calculator and now calculate the value. But notice that this is a very small number and this is also a very small number. From calculus, we have a very simple relationship. When you have small x and small y, 1 plus x by 1 plus y is 1 plus x minus y. This simplifies calculations. Here you see that x and y are both very small. So, 1 plus x minus y. So, I can write 1 minus 2 into 10 power minus 3 plus 0.88 into 10 power minus 3. So, if I simplify this, I will get 50 times 1 minus 1.12 into 10 power minus 3. Now, this is obviously easier to calculate. So, if I did this calculation, I get 49.944 centimeters. So, that is the original length of the steel rod. So, original length of the steel rod is 49.944 centimeters. Okay. It's obviously less than 50 centimeters as you see. Why is it less than 50 centimeters? Because the aluminum scale reduces by a lot more than the steel rod. Why? because its alpha is bigger than this. So, after it reduces a lot more, they match. So, obviously, the steel rod length must have been less than 50 centimeters as you find out here. It is only 49.944 centimeters. So, I hope you understood the solution and more importantly, I hope you understood why visualization makes problem solving really, really simple in physics. So, next time you see a physics question, first thing, you must draw a diagram. It will help you visualize what is going on and that will help you solve problems better. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have some comments or if you have doubts in physics or math, please write it in the comment section. I will take one of your questions and make my next video. See you all in the next video soon.